Hey Renegades, I'm Becca Scott and I am here with Paul Denon of Direwolf Digital. Direwolf Digital is the co-publisher, along with Renegade Games, of Eternal Chronicles of the Throne, which we're about to just dive in and play through. Uh, Paul, tell me a little bit about this game. Sure, um, this is a deck builder. And uh, at Direwolf, we love deck builders. We make Clank also. I'm a little bit obsessed with Clank and all deck builders. This is my favorite <laughs> genre, I think. Our other favorite genre is um, CCG, you know, card battlers. Um, so this kind of tries to bring both worlds into the same game. So we're going to be drafting cards, but we're going to use those cards to attack each other and try to take our life totals down to zero. And the first person who does that wins. All right. And uh, do you know off the top of your head the name of this character? That is Talir, uh, one of the Scions seeking the Eternal Throne. She is a master of time. I must say, today she's going to get it. <laughs> Just try are you intimidated? I, I've, I've seen her get it before, and I've heard of your skills in this game, so I am intimidated. You yes. know what? I played twice, and I won twice, so that's, that's a pretty good odd. All right, um, I'm going to flip six for our... You, you flip six, and I can shuffle the... These are the starting units. We're each going to get one. You want me to <gasps> distribute them also? Can I cut the deck? Sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I trust you. <laughs> but only because you offered. Okay, Paul. We got six cards here. What do you call this row of shopping? That's the forge row. The forge row. Whenever a card refers to the forge, it's both the row and these two stacks up here. We'll be able to buy those. Right. We can always buy a veteran mercenary whose cost is in the upper right hand corner and whose uh, strength in battle and their defense in battle is this middle left number. Yep. That's all you need to know. Yep. There you go. Much. Okay. So that's your starting unit. I don't get to see it until you play it. And I, should I look? You should probably look because it will tell you which factions you're, you're kind of aligned with. Yes, I've been playing with a lot of uh, using of factions. Mm -hmm. And then we need to decide who goes first. Uh, how would we determine that? Mm -hmm. Rochambeau. All right. On shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Gotcha. Right. But going first isn't necessarily an advantage. Good quick so. meta game. I see what you did there. You thought that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So first player only gets three cards. Second player you get four cards. So. All right. Taking a turn is pretty simple. Um, we play our cards. We generate power on these uh, numbers here. So I've got three power to spend. Ooh, three power in the forge. Now, why is this recogulator's re cost have a red warp color to it? Sure. So one of the cool things about this game is you you start with two warp tokens, and you can spend these to play cards immediately. Instead but, of putting them into your discard, waiting exactly. for their Exactly. Like a normal deck builder, you have to wait, but you've got opportunities here. Now, I'm not willing this early to commit to something like that. That might be a little crazy, because, like I said, you only have two. Um, so I, I think I'm just gonna sit tight. Um, I think I might just buy a seek power up here. Ooh, so that's two power for now, but it has an ability that's triggered after all the seek power has been claimed, yeah? Exactly, all of these throne symbols, and I, I played this worn shield, which right now is doing nothing for me because we're not at the throne. So once we buy all these seek powers, we'll be at the throne, all of these abilities will turn on. <sighs> Man, I want that eternal throne, okay. Wait, if you want the Eternal Throne, then I don't want to change my play. No, I'm just, just in theory, not necessarily <laughs> what I'm going to go for in the game, but just emotionally when I see that arch. Okay, so I'm going to place them for camera here. We've got a couple Diplomacy, that's two power. Ooh, Withering Winch coming for you. So she has a, a, a strength. Strength of one. Strength of one, and then plus three to defense, meaning a defense of four. Yep, so if I was attacking you with a big creature, you could block. In this case, obviously, I didn't play any creatures. Okay, and what's interesting and unique about the battle mechanic is that this Withering Witch is, which is going to sit here through your turn, and if you are unable to defend, it will attack your life total, and, it, and either way, it goes into my discard after one yep. damage or, one or you've defended. Yep. One cycle. Okay, so I've got two power, and then my Worn Shield, like yours, doesn't do anything yet. So, too easily power. What am I? <gasps> Maybe I'm gonna get a veteran mercenary. I think that is the only option. Okay. 
Makes it easy. Good choice. <laughs> Uh, all right, so on my turn, unfortunately, I do not have a unit to deal with your Withering Witch. Uh, but that's okay, she's not that scary. Um, I should probably point out this card. Um, this, once we get to the throne, will refresh warp tokens, um, but it does nothing now. So I've got four to spend. I think it's time to start playing. Oh, but uh, you get a five hand, a hand of five cards. Yes, only on the first, first turn. turn. Yeah, only on the first Good turn. Good thing, we because I wasn't <laughs> going to tell you that uh, I thought we played way wrong before. Um, we did take no. five cards on our first turn. Your wins are, are still going down in the record books. It's okay, legit. thank you, thank you. Uh, I think I will go ahead and buy this treasury card. All right. And at the end of my turn, because I did not block your witch, I have to take one damage. So I go down from 25 to 24. My witch goes into the discard, and now I'm playing four diplomacy and a refresh that won't do anything for now. So I'll just go ahead and discard it with four power. <gasps> so an Outland Sniper deals two damage to an enemy player when it goes on the board. Mm -hmm. And it's got a warp token. And it's got a fire kicker. Warp speed! <laughs> okay. You're so getting sniped. I'm down to 22. All right. Now, it also has this little uh, forge hammer symbol. Mm -hmm. So if I were to play another card with that symbol, this secondary ability is activated. Correct. You don't even have an enemy relic for me to destroy yet. Oh, ooh, there is one relic in the forge yeah. row. Yeah, by buying him, you've kind of scared me off of buying the relic, which, you know, is strategically pretty good for you. <laughs> but, um, this time, I would be my starting unit, which is an awakened student. He wants to be friends with buff guys, basically. I if, mean, yeah, sure. Who doesn't? Uh, I was noticing uh, his musculature. <laughs> That's not a word. And is only three power. I kind of don't want you to get the Magna Javelin, so I'm going to buy it. Defensive even, buy. Even though you might end up destroying it, I'm still going to go for it. Okay. And I'm going to play. Choice. I'm going to play defensively since you've come out very aggressively. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and block. Okay. And then both of these units go to our discard piles. Goodbye. Oops, I should have already at the end of my turn drawn. Yes. Drawn five, yeah. So then I shuffle. Oh. Meaning that that guy would not, that Outland Sniper should be in the discard. Exactly, okay. yes. Now we're playing by rules. Yep. See, so you don't have to wait for me that way. Three, four, five. Okay, party time. Ooh, secret pages, diplomacy. So that's three. The shield's no good to me now. Four. And refresh is no good to me now. Lucky you. Now, Paul. Okay, so with four. I could get, uh, obviously I want a vampire bat because it has flying, which means you cannot defend except mm -hmm. with another creature with flying, and lifesteal, what it it's sounds pretty good. like. Um, so that costs two, and then with my additional So two. what you can always do too is you can hope to find another two, so you, you can buy it and immediately flip. Oh, excellent, love that. Impulse shopping, okay, so. Hmm, a veteran mercenary seems like the move. Except a temple scribe, uh. Yeah, mercenary's pretty good. Mercenary, can't go wrong. And um, did we talk about what the mercenaries do? With their we did not. Special skill? Um, so when you play a mercenary, you can choose any faction for them to be. Which at this point, I'm kind of scared because you've bought two different cards that have faction triggers. Mm. So your mercenaries can help. Good day. Oops, didn't even notice. See, I wasn't too concerned with factions in general, because I just imagine I'll well, have a bunch of mercenaries eventually. Sure. sure. And uh, they'll do all that hard work for me. We are quite flexible. So I have eight power to spend, so Ouch. fear me. I do. Um, uh oh. I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy the, the, expensive the thing? most expensive <laughs> thing. Logical. And then you've got two left. Ooh, I would have <gasps> Don't rather. Don't you wish you'd <laughs> saved? Yes, I would have rather bought her. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a mercenary for myself. Okay. So I've got a two treasury, two strength treasury guard attacking me now. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, well. Looks like we're just going to defend with a withering witch, and then I have. 
Ooh. Ooh. I'll put my mercenary out. So Withering Witch goes away. And then I've got one, two, three, four. Power. Ooh, okay, well we should maybe explain this recogulator because it says create one grenadine for each of your relics. Yep. One of these little tokens. Exactly. Yep. So Pretty there's, fierce. There's token one, creatures. There's, one creature, one strength. Two strength yetis as well. Okay, what's it gonna cost? Four. I can't just fill my whole deck with mercenaries. Don't wanna flood it out. Seek power. Some good money, but hip shot. Deal one damage to an enemy player or three damage if you have a relic. What happened to your quest for the throne? You know what? I'm tempted. Okay, we're just gonna temple scribe first and sure. see what happens. Ooh, a Gorgon Ooh, fanatic. You can purchase him this turn. Too. And I sure will. A Gorgon fanatic with a strength of three. When Gorgon fanatic damages an enemy player, banish him. Draw three cards and gain three life total. So I'm not gonna want him to get through. Huh? Really? All right, you're not gonna like this. So my awakened student who wants to find big guys, found one. So because this guy has four strength, awakened student gets plus two. Okay. Yeah, so, no, there's nothing in my deck that can uh, deal with that. And he lets me draw a card. I've got a veteran mercenary. And I've got three power to spend. I will, held by the hip shot which will, it's a spell that's going to deal direct damage to you, deal one damage to an enemy player, or three damage if you have a relic. So I already bought a relic, it seems like a pretty good purchase. And now I could block the veteran mercenary, but at this point I'm feeling like maybe the tides have turned, and I'm just going to refuse to block it, take the two damage, and send all my guys at you. So I'm going to go down to 20, and see if you can now turn the tide. Oh yeah? Well get ready. Because you know what? Now I'm vengeful. <laughs> <laughs> I got three power and two uh, two discards for now. Okay. So I will take four plus four. That's ten. Yeah? Yep. Ten damage coming at me. Puts me to fifteen in one blow. One of the abilities with warp is you can sometimes warp in a unit to make a block. In this sure. case, I don't know if you care enough because he's not quite strong enough to block the big guys. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, that re recogulator uh, is not going to make it in. I'm feeling like I need a lot more buying power. Yep. And bolster seems like a better way than seek power. Uh, so I'm going to put some bolster in here. It's two power when it's drawn and gives a unit plus three defense. Kind of what the doctor ordered. Mm -hmm. So these guys got three. The doctor's minutes. coming too little, too late. Diplomacy. Okay, so I found my Magma Javelin. It's a relic. It doesn't really do anything right now. Uh, it's going to sit on the side here. Whenever one of my units damages an enemy player, Magma Javelin deals one damage to that player. Kick me while I'm down. <laughs> Two, three, four, five to spend. Back alley bouncer. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, well, bam! Whoa. Yeah, I got damage coming at ya. Oh, let me just turn around the camera. We got a temple scribe, a gorb gun fanatic, and a withering witch. No big deal. And then that's four power to shop with. Ooh. Oasis Sanctuary seems like the move because I'm low on life. It doesn't That's help not you as purchase fun. things. It's it's yeah, it's yeah. it's good. But is it all that? Oh, what I really want is Ellen Island? Island 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 Queen of the Wilds. Okay. Do you have enough? I like this tinker. No. Just wish I'm window shopping. <laughs> um hmm. Okay. So with these four, I shall purchase. Sanctuary is calling out to you. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do a Tinker Apprentice for okay. one. Nope, can't afford it. I will do Seek Power with my other three. 
Alright, so we've got a treasury guy who is not quite strong enough to block the Gorgon Fanatic. Guess I should buy just island. a bunch of m mercenaries. <laughs> you wish. Um, I will warp Island into play. Yeah, that's logical. <sighs> she's gonna throw herself against the Gorgon fanatic so that he doesn't get through. Oh, flip this card. But he, he wanted to so badly. He wanted <laughs> to sure give me did. all his life and the card draw. I think I'll just take the two damage and let my treasury card attack you, so I'm down to 18. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Okay. So, we're coming at you with a mercenary. <gasps> Outland Sniper! Ooh. Deal two damage to an enemy player. And this mercenary would like to destroy your magma travel weapon. Never got to use it. Haha! Then my uh, vampire bat is coming out. Okay. So let's see. Secret passages as well. That's three, four, five power. Still. I want the wings. <laughs> I want the wings. Okay. Ancient excavator. Banish a card in the forge row. Reduce the cost of the card that replaces it by two this turn. He's also big. He's got four strength, which is pretty relevant against my deck, I think. Do need. Do need, indeed. Uh, and then your treasury guard got through, yeah? Uh, it's oh. up to you. You can block it if you want. I think uh, a block is the way to go. So he's hitting me for two plus one defense. No, plus you, one didn't, defense you didn't have the, I didn't uh, have, uh, the activated justice. ability there. Yeah. Okay. So let's go mercenary. Okay. So your mercenary is discarded. I was just thinking about oh, yeah, whether you, that was strategic. Okay. Yeah, so you do have an it. So this game is pretty unique. Whatever you attack me with, because you're about to reshuffle, those cards are not going to get into your deck again. So if you want to draw your outland sniper again more quickly, why? Yes, I do. You probably won't block with him. Let's pretend yeah. I blocked with my sniper. Sure, no, that's okay, thank you. Okay. So I'm going to play hip shot, which, had I had my relic, would have dealt three damage to you. But because you destroyed it, it's only dealing one. Thank you. Thank you, Becca, from the past. A mercenary of my own, and that mercenary is going to declare Shadow, which triggers my back alley bouncer's destroy an enemy unit ability. And because I can't block flying, I'm going to destroy the Yeah, back. good call. So I've got two, three, four, five. So I'm going to buy this recurring nightmare because it's pretty cool. Um, unlike every other unit in the game, whenever. Uh, the Nightmare deals attack damage to an enemy player, it remains in play. No! Yeah. So, That's too good. Well, it's flying. You, If you have a way to block flying, you can just get rid of it. It doesn't. I can't warp it. So hopefully it will be a player later. Okay. Um, and I will also buy... Oh, and it only costs one. It only costs one. That's a bargain. It is. It is. I think I'll just get the Cabal cut through it instead. And another ability that I should call out is the back alley bouncer has void bind, which mm. lets me call a card from my hand or discard pile. In this case, I'm just going to call from my discard pile. A very important component of clank. Yeah, in fact. And I think I imagine here too. I just yeah, it's actually more it's more prominent in this game than sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and block at this point. I'm starting to get a little scared. Getting nervous, huh? I still have my bouncer coming at you. Right, right, right. For three, I can't let that happen. So, here we are. My Withering Witch, with all her defense, is going to bounce that. Yep. Uh, and she has vanquished. Okay. Um, oh, my Tinker Apprentice, you may give another unit plus one. Well, I would like to do that. If you play to spell this turn, draw a card. I didn't. I have two diplomacy. Okay, so that's going to be just four power. Oasis Sanctuary is life gain. Crucial for those that like to play cautiously. <laughs> so a lot of these cards have warp. So 
What we choose to spend our last work token on could be pretty important. Sure. Okay, I'm looking at Grenaminder, and Grenaminder says when you banish Grenaminder, gain three life. That's going to come in handy. I could warp it. If I take it, then you can't have it. <laughs> yeah, it is a card that I want because it would combo with my Bonzo. Ooh. Wait, how so? Well, Voidbind banishes a card, so when I threw out this Diplomacy, technically I was banishing it. I just didn't use the right word. I see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take Renamender. Okay. But you want to warp it or not? I don't think I want to warp it because I'm not banishing it right now. I want a three power creature in my deck. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty good, cheap little fighter. I also have four to spend, so I want to see what I flip. Okay. Levitate. Give one of your units flying and two buying power. But guess what? That I really want this lumbering Gruon because Berserk is an awesome power. It basically, if you can't defend against it, it gets to attack twice. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Particularly good with this card too in combo because if you can make a Berserk unit fly, it's even harder to block. All right, so you've got a couple little guys coming at me. I mean, you know, they wouldn't call themselves that. But... Well, what if they were up against two, four strength guys? Uh... Then you still have to, <laughs> then you're wasting your power. Yeah, I don't know if I want to waste, a... I certainly don't want to make I mean, a no, you, no, please don't. But, but here's the strategic element here is I'm about to reshuffle. So if I don't block with these guys, they're not going to be in my deck. So, I think I want him in my deck. So he's going to block the Temple Scrum. The Mystic Ascendant. Okay. okay. And we'll keep the, the Awakened Student in play. I'm going to buy another Seek Power. That brings us pretty close to the throne. Okay. And I take one damage. I'm down to 15. Oh, it's me. Huh. Yep. Okay. So this guy goes your discard pile. You took the one. He did Great. his job, yeah. Okay. So I've got an Outland Sniper. Deal two damage. 13. And uh, a Mercenary. Um, you, you don't have a Relic out, or I would destroy it. I can't refresh my warp tokens, because that throne isn't showing quite yet. Now I have three power to work with. So you can Man, I things, wish I could double block. You can do things in any order um, for what it's worth. You could buy the Seek Power and then use <gasps> the ability on a refresh if you want. I'm not saying that it's a good strategic decision, just saying it's good. I mean, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm at 14 life power, and you're at 13. Okay. You just want, you want it for yourself, don't you? Wait, what do I want? Uh, the throne, the throne's availability. Well. I, I, well, to be honest, I want the Valkyrie wings. I'm hoping to get enough power for that. Okay, I shall take Seek Power, and now I will refresh my warp tokens. Right. Uh, and I guess I have to take that four damage. That's right. Okay. So a worn shield is not really doing much for me here. Although it is giving plus two defense to a unit, it's just I don't really need it. Your creatures are too powerful. <laughs> exactly. That's my large problem here. So I refresh my warp tokens. I don't have much to spend. I only have two power. So I guess I'm just going to get a mercenary. Uh, I think I'll levitate. Yeah, I'll get a levitate. No wings for you. And, and then are you going to take four? I don't know. I'm at, I'm at 13 now. Do I want to go to nine? Yeah, I'm going to go to nine, so I'm taking four. Okay. So... I have a four strength flying unit. Flying, huh? All right, diplomacy. Seek power. You may banish this to create a two cavalry. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Does the cavalry disappear after it's yep. used? Yep, so this is a one-shot one kind of opportunity. Sure. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna banish uh, after I've yep. spent it. Yep. So I'll wait on that. It goes into a pool, so you can. Oh, it's like a, yeah. a floating yeah. floating power. Okay. Then we're gonna play a little uh, Gorgon fanatic, and you may think, dang it, 
Why? As long as you have a way to make the, the Gorgon fly, I'm, I'm fine with it. Well, you know what? Uh, you you bought you bought the card I needed to do that. Well, yeah, that's true. But if you had six, and you can warp Valkyrie wings into play, then oh, you mean like two, four, yes. five, six? Sadly, yes. And then Valkyrie wings. Yes. And then warp. Yep. Maybe you shouldn't tell I... me how to play your game. <laughs> Once during your turn, give one of your units flying. Also, give that unit plus one if the throne's in play. So yep. that's going to be a plus one flying. And I'm going to bolster it and warn shield it because it's my only, uh, only sure. creature. So, uh... Are you sure you want to block with Gorgon Fanatic? I'm at nine. nine. If it gets through, you yeah, get to drop the card. Yeah, but this is all in. defense, yeah. you know? It's a tough decision. Right? Oh! Yeah, because there's a reason why Gorgon Fanatic um, doesn't want to block, because he really wants to get through and attack me. And now that you've made him fly, it's harder for me to block him, so... I got so excited about the Valkyrie wings. Uh, let's replace the card just in case it matters. No. Well, I can't afford anything else. Maybe I shouldn't have bought these Valkyrie wings, but just because no, I could, I, it no, felt so I right. No, I think they're very powerful, One, yeah. especially when you have the throne. In fact, we made a special Okay, so token. giving it plus... <gasps> so on one side, just flying on the uh -huh. other side, when you get to the throne. Oh, excellent. Way. Okay, so these Valkyrie wings with their special card are in play. Yeah. Uh, you, well, you get, no, you get to do that every turn. That's a relic. You can just keep that in play. That's why Valkyrie wings are so powerful. Got it. <laughs> yes. Very happy about my purchase. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would like to banish the seed power to sure. create a two cavalry. And then uh, the worn shield gave plus two defense to the, I can give it to the cavalry and then block with that. Well, the cavalry is not flying. So you would have to use the Valkyrie wings on whatever you want to block. Great. Valkyrie wings there. Okay. Then you can block on him. And, uh, but now it does at least make it easier for me to block the Golden Fanatic because it's not fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. It's a good play, though. I think four damage at this point when you're at 10 is kind of a lot to it take. It is. I don't want to take that damage. So I've got my Insect Power here. I've got. Not quite good enough. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight power. All right. Okay. Now you can afford the wings. <laughs> yeah, great. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and warp the recogulator into play, just Ooh. just to make up. I don't have. Grenadine. You destroyed my you destroyed my, my island. So I don't. You need, made the card that allowed I don't, me I don't to need, do it. I don't even <laughs> get him. But just alone, he can block the Gordon. That's why I'm gonna do it. So he blocks. He's a three. Uh, but oh. I yeah. forgot my plus one. Yeah. yeah, the flying came with a plus one. Um, so I've spent three. You did warn me. I have five left. At this point, because you have me on the ropes, I'm going to use my other warp token. So I'm all out now to get Oasis Sanctuary. Double Game warp! Four, so I'm up to 13. Oh, because oh, you had eight. Yeah. So you could buy one more thing if you so chose. Mm. If you wanted a dirty upper deck with that temple scribe. <laughs> I think this tribe is good in my deck. I've got a few spells, and that's maybe a reason why I'm not going to banish the Seek Power. No, that's not true. I'm going to banish the Seek Power. I'm just going to keep the cavalry. Okay. And I'm done. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you're at 10. Okay. Ooh, a dragon. So we've got an ancient excavator. I'm going to do his ability in a moment. Let's see what we have here. A bunch of power. Okay, so Valkyrie wings are happening. They go on this excavator. Except, uh, this oh, this right. Includes the That's token. the token. Uh, banish a card in the forge row. Replace the cost of the card that replaces it by two this turn. So let's put these wings on the side for a minute while we decide. Because what if I yeah, warp something cool work? in? Yeah. Okay, banish something. So what do you so, think is good for me? I have one, two, three, four, five to work with. And I could buy something with a max of seven. Finish a card in the forge row if it is the thing mm -hmm. that I bought. Okay. Which is basically any card in the deck. Nothing costs more than seven. Got it. Uh huh. What do I not want you to have? Create two. Bring a land, void bind, crown of authority, arcane defense, original watcher, 
This steel-bound dragon is pretty awesome. Um, and I want to buy it. <laughs> Not this turn. I could. Uh, oh, no, no. Sure. Yeah, because meth. So that's what I have to get rid of. Okay. That makes it easier. That's yeah, what that I was sense. worried about. Should I put it on the bottom of the deck? Uh, it's banished. Banished. It's just banished pile. Yep. Goodbye, sweet dragon. So whatever dragon. you flop here, that one costs one now. Yeah, it's a flying shelter wing rider. That seems like an awesome card. Uh, and it only costs one. So, uh, yes, please. Uh, so I have spent just one. Keep track like that. Uh, and then I have four more to spend. So this Jatoon Punter, give one of your other units flying, and it's a four. Warp. So you could warp it into play. Yeah, we're gonna warp. Yeah, we're warping. Okay, things are getting uh, warpy. Pretty. You, oh, and pretty. let me just um, decide who gets these Valkyrie wings. Banish a card. That is done. So give this one guy of your other specifically units gives another unit flying, and we can use one of these tokens. So I obviously I want my Valkyrie yep. wings on the. Hunter. So now you have a similar kind of question that I had. Like, do you want to block my small guys with your big guys? Take okay, take four. You're down to six. Yep. But now you have to defend nine. That I do. So I found my Magma Javelin again. Please do not destroy it this time. I will. And I found it with hip shot. So because I have a relic, you take three damage. On the edge. Back alley bouncer, he was going to go find a way. Just a defense. And my mercenary is going to be Shadow, uh, which will let me destroy an enemy unit. So goodbye, Punter. This old Punter? Yeah. Okay. And I have three to spend. But these four are getting through. Oh, yeah, that's good. Cool. That, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, I shouldn't have taken the hit. That was crazy. I'm going to go ahead and find And I take four damage mm -hmm. and I'm down to nine. Okay. You got these two guys coming at you. And remember. Magma Javelin now is in play, so anybody who gets through does one more damage from the Javelin. This so. might be my last turn. <laughs> uh, so, I have a Vampire Bat with Flying and Life Steal. Okay, so we have a Temple Scribe. If we play, play a spell, spell. Uh, I'm going to seek power and then banish it. Does it still count so as a spell? It is a spell. So, yeah, as soon as you lay if that you play on the a table, spell, yeah. draw a card. Yep. Okay, just diplomacy. Uh, then seek power is two, and then I will banish it to create a cavalry. So it's banished in just a minute, but I'm gonna leave it here so I remember that power. Give a unit plus two defense, so I shall, Ooh. yeah. So, you know, I'm pretty good. Uh, <laughs> oh, shoot, I need a mercenary. I need a mercenary, I can't do it. Well, so with, so. The, with a worn shield, you can make a one block of three. And I will, but then my, your veteran mercenary is gonna. Oh, I forgot my Valkyrie. And he's got this guy too. Remember? So he he just by himself. Thank you for helping me. Okay, so uh, I want. It doesn't matter who. I'm gonna block here, and then I'm, my vampire bat has life steal, so I want that to get well, through. So I'm gonna put the worn shield yeah. here. I'm gonna give an extra plus one to the vampire bat, sure. even though he's already flying. He's got double flying. Double flying. He has okay. four wings. So these guys are all discarded. Okay. Now um, that's discarded because yes. it's blocked. And then um, two, three, four, five. Do you have any warp tokens left? No, they're mm -hmm. both out. Would be. Authority. Once during your turn, if you have a unit with four more, draw a card. Or plus two defense and void bind. I think I need the defense right now. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and this is banished. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you've got a life stealing vampire bat. So if it gets through to me, whatever damage it deals to me gives you that much health. <sighs> Come on, vampire bat. So I've got. I've got my Recurring Nightmare, which could block it, but I really don't want to block with a Recurring Nightmare, because this is the guy that will just stay in play forever. Uh, I've got this 
Mystic Ascendant drop, with a strength of four. We got this, which creates a Grenadine this time because I have a relic. This might be the end. Could be. Got my ball cutthroat. And I'm going to banish a super power for a cavalry. So this is the turn <laughs> where we just go all in. Okay. Um, although you are going to probably gain a couple of health here because I don't think I'm going to block. So I have two, three, four, five to spend. I can also banish a card. Let's go ahead and banish Cade. Lumbering Bruin. And I do not make the block, so I take two damage and you gain two. Thank you. I'm down to seven. Okay, I'm at five. Here we go. Goodbye, Bat. You played the army. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Withering Witch with the four. She's going to take care of that Mystic Ascendant. Sure. Uh, Tanker Apprentice. You may give another unit plus one, and I've got an Outland Sniper. Got him again. All right, so he deals two to me, so I'm down to five. And then um, if I give this other a plus one um, from the Tinker Apprentice, Outland Sniper gets a plus one. Then I, uh, then that three can block. Well, I still don't think I make it. Yeah, okay, it, so it I'm gonna block your regulator. Your and did we forget to? Uh, flop I shall refresh my warp tokens. Oh, if only. And then a diplomacy. So, why is there no? <laughs> There's nothing to warp in. Come on, deck. Okay, okay. I think that's it for me. Um, I could destroy an enemy relic. Nope, I don't have that allegiance, and so I'm slowly just stalling because. Uh, let me just. Uh, I'm gonna kill that. Kill that. No. I can't. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna. Block your nightmare, sure. block your recogulator, sure. and then uh, you have exactly enough coming Actually, through to kill me. And the magma javelin does three more. Just I'm for the record. Rub it in with your magma javelin. <laughs> All right, Paul. Good thank game. you for an excellent game. You know that was the first time I've lost, right? I've, I've heard. So my win percentage is still, still pretty high. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna go pro on Eternal Chronicles of the Throne, created from, by Direwolf Digital. Paul, thanks so much for playing with me. Thanks for having me. Take Bye. care.